So you can always tear things, break them, bash them, stomp on them, basically do whatever you want with them to physically change something. But today, we're interested in chemical changes. Come on. You want to have a lighter? Chemical changes. Let's go. Matter can neither be created nor destroyed. However, it can be changed. It can be changed in two ways. Physical change or a chemical change. So what is a physical change? Well, in a physical change, the form of the matter could change, but the substance stays the same. For example, ripping a sheet of paper. You might change the form of the paper, but it's still just a sheet of paper. Now, on the other hand, we have chemical changes. In a chemical change, two or more substances come together to form a new substance. For example, if you were to take a sheet of paper and set it on fire, those would be two substances coming together to make a new substance, ash. So physical changes are things like tearing paper or crumbling something up. And some examples of chemical changes are setting things on fire or fireworks. Fireworks! Fireworks! <laughs> So one really common type of physical change is a haircut. My hair might now be shorter, but it's still my hair. It's just changed its shape and its size. That's why getting a haircut is just a physical change. Ready? Is it pink? No! So that's just a physical change. While now it's still just pink, it's still my hair. So this dyeing your hair color is just a physical change. That's cold on your scalp. What color is daddy's hair? Pink. Okay, so cutting your hair is a physical change, but what about a chemical change? Well, one of the most common types of chemical changes is one of my favorite things to do in general. Baking. Baking. I love to bake. I really just love any excuse to eat. So baking is a really common example of a chemical change. Earlier, I took out all the ingredients needed to make cupcakes. Now, when you get all the ingredients, that's just a physical change because they're all still the same substance. They're just mixed together with each other. In order to get that chemical change, you need to add some heat. That's why we put them in the oven. Now, when we pull them out of the oven, that's when we have our cupcakes. So if you have to ask yourself, mm, is this a chemical change or a physical change? Ask yourself, can I reverse this process? Could you take this completed cupcake and turn it back into the original ingredients? If the answer is no, then it is probably a chemical change. So how can you actually tell if a chemical change has occurred? Well, there's actually a few clues to help you determine if a chemical change has occurred. One of the easiest ways to tell is if there's a color change. The ash is a new color, which is black, which is a good clue that a chemical change has occurred. Another clue is the temperature change. Ooh, check out this cool slow motion of the match here. Now, this match is very hot. That is another clue that a chemical change has occurred. Next part, I need this match to stand up. Okay. All right, let's just get a candle. Hold there. He won't stand up either. Okay, let's get one of those cupcakes back. Man, these cupcakes are so handy. All right, let's light this one up because our next clue is if there is an odor change, a change in smell. Let's blow this out. Take a quick whiff. And, oh, that is stinky. Yeah. Remember, just because you witness one of these things happening doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be a chemical change. It's up to you to decide if it is a chemical change. Okay, so let's recap. In a physical change, the form of the matter might change, but the substance is still the same. It might look different, but no new substance has been created. That means phase changes are just physical changes. In a chemical change, two different substances come together to form a new substance. Something new has to be formed in order to be a chemical change. 
Well, that's it for this episode. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some more experiments to go conduct. I love science. Goodbye, beautiful people.